We look for ideas that are innovative in the way they use technologies, that are addressing a very specific problem. It can also be scalable uh, to other communities in the planet. Plastic pollution is a critical challenge affecting us all. Germany has the answer to helping our oceans. This low-cost river barrier known as Trash Boom has been developed by Plastic Fisher. 80% of ocean plastic starts out as river pollution. This barrier targets it at its source. It's 300 times more cost-effective to collect plastic before it reaches the ocean. We started in Southeast Asia, uh, in Indonesia. We've been there for eight months to develop the thing in the field because we had no prior knowledge about it. And now we are scaling up, um, especially in India. We are there uh, active in six different uh, locations. And we have around 30 barriers active, uh, 60 full-time employees to take care of the waste management and collected 340 tons of plastic waste already. It's an invention that will change the way we live and was being showcased at the Prototypes for Humanity exhibition in Dubai, where the brightest and youngest academic minds in the world come together, hoping to change the world with their creations. They are solutions for the planet. This year, the event is showcasing 100 amazing prototypes and technologies from students and universities from 100 countries. And the idea is that they have the potential to change the way that society, communities and people view the future. This might look like a dining room chair, but it's in fact a life-saving flotation device. Like a piece of origami, it transforms in less than a minute into a life raft. It was created by a young Filipino innovator after he experienced a typhoon at nine years old. Decades later, you expect us to be able to better manage flooding, but it still remains to be a problem. And so I thought, okay, we should be able to help those who are vulnerable. Um, and so that's how the idea was born. So, you know, it addressed the problem of drowning, uh, electrocution, um, and all the other problems associated with, uh, with flooding. Another problem on our planet is waste. Leftover banana crop is being turned into reusable bags in Burundi in East Africa. The solution is fighting pollution and climate change through a circular economy, adding value to banana plantations whilst creating jobs for unemployed youth. 90% of Burundian population deals with agriculture. After harvesting, you found there are so many wastes in the, in the, in the, in the banana farm. Then we collect them. We are also collaborating with we many cooperatives that raise banana. We are also collaborating with more than 86 banana farmers that raise banana. Yeah, then we have to correct them from them. We have to buy just by giving them to a small amount of money and then transform them into these eco-friendly bags. Many of the creators at Prototypes for Humanity had their eyes on the prize, but there could only be four winners, each getting 24,000 euros. The idea of the prize is to award academic excellence. Uh, we're looking for solutions that are uh, using technology in an innovative way. Uh, it can also be scalable uh, to other communities in the planet. So we encourage people to come and discover amazing innovations from over uh, 45 countries. And also, of course, uh, investors, private and public entities that want to engage with them. They're encouraged to come, speak with the students, speak with ourselves, and understand how we can together take them to the people and communities that they were designed for. One of the winning designs was a fridge in a field a solar-powered cold storage solution to keep freshly harvested fruit and vegetables in Ghana cool. Countries in sub-Saharan Africa can lose more than a third of their produce, mostly because of inefficient supply chains. The solar cold stores will boost seasonal income for farmers as they extend the shelf life of perishable crops from about five days to 21 days. They also help to cut greenhouse gas emissions. I was really um, having hopes that my solution would be invited to come to Dubai, but I wasn't really expecting to be one of the winners because I realized that there were several innovations that were mind-blowing as well. So I wasn't really having that expectation. But when I was you know, in invited to come on stage to pick up my award, it was really inspiring and it gave me hope that the work we are doing is something that is really important to solving one of the world's major issues. Some of these groundbreaking projects have already been implemented in some scale and in some capacity around the world. Some still have a little way to go, but many of what you see here will produce a significant impact.